Hello, and welcome to another video on laboratory techniques produced by the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill iGym Team 2015. Today, we're going to be discussing how to properly use a nanodrop to measure concentrations of nucleic acid in liquid solutions. Specifically, we'll be using ThermoScientific's Nanodrop 2000C. The Nanodrop 2000C is an ultraviolet visible spectrophotometric machine that allows for accurate measurements of nucleic acid concentration by using only a minimal amount of sample. This machine operates by changing the path length between 1 mm and 0.2 mm to measure a wide range of DNA concentrations between 2 nanograms per microliter to 3,700 nanograms per microliter. The device is used in conjunction with the Nanodrop software on the computer. Open the Nanodrop program and select Nucleic Acid on the home screen. Allow the machine to make its routine wavelength verifications with the arm down, and then load 1 microliter of USP water on the metal tip to blank the machine. The best way to load liquid samples is to push down on the pipette to create a small sphere of liquid on the pipette tip, and then place the liquid sphere onto the metal tip. Close the arm gently, and make sure after each measurement to clean off the two metal tips with a Chemtech wipe. Once the machine has been blinked, you can load one microliter of the sample, close the arm, and click measure on the program. The concentration should be displayed, as well as a purity curve. The purity of the sample can also be known by the 260-280 and 260-230 absorbance ratios. Contamination of proteins, organic solvents, or various other compounds will skew these ratios. Pure DNA should generally have a 260-280 value of 1.8 and 260-230 value ranging between 2.0 and 2.2. Pure RNA will have a 260-280 value of around 2.0 and a 260-230 value ranging from 1.8 to 2.2. Now that you understand how to use a nanodrop to measure nucleic acid concentration and assess purity, you are one step further to mastering the laboratory. Go forth and discover.